If you've had a hard time scheduling an appointment with an eye doctor now, in a few years, it's going to be even more challenging with many retirements expected. News Channel 9's Iris St. Moran tells us about Upstate Medical University's vision for increasing the number in the future. Just right to my left ear, please. Dr. Benjamin Smith is doing a routine eye exam on a patient. The work keeps him busy as there are fewer optometrists in the area. I know we all are very busy and, and we, we, we fit as many people as we can um, each day. Um, luckily, the past couple years, we have um, kind of broken the trend a little and we, we've had a few younger people I would say myself included. Go ahead and sit back. Smith graduated in 2020 from mm -hmm. SUNY College of Optometry in New York City. It's the only optometry school in the state. While he decided to work in this region, many others do not. And the results of a survey of optometrists showing the staffing will become even more challenging. The next five years, we're anticipating about 25% of the optometrists planning to retire. SUNY Upstate Medical University and SUNY College of Optometry are teaming up to create an optometry campus extension program in central New York. Dr. Shomos, who's a longtime optometrist, welcomes this addition. What we tend to feel is that this program, as we said, will try to train them here and retain them here. It comes at a critical time as they expect more patients. Yeah, you got the baby boomers, you got the Gen Xers that are actually at that point where all these ocular diseases are starting to develop at this age, the cataracts, the macular degeneration. So there's, there's going to be a need just for that. As the president for the society, I can say firsthand, we get approached by many doctors in the area who are looking for help. Help is on the way. In Syracuse, Iris St. Moran, News Channel 9. And the program is expected to start in 2025 with the first class of 30 students studying at Upstate.